guys and Shine Wanderers fans, it's game day and it's another opportunity for our Wanderers to cement their spot at the top of the table. I'm Sia Anthopoulos and welcome to another episode of Bay 46. And as you should know, it's also Valentine's Day, a special day we can celebrate our love for the Wanderers. And there'll be plenty happening at the stadium to make sure everyone is feeling the love. Get to the ground early and brace yourself for the t-shirt cannon because we'll be shooting out these limited edition Valentine's Day t-shirts. How awesome is that? But before you enter the stadium, be sure to pick up one of these love heart signs from our Wonder Crew. There'll be kiosks set up where you can write your membership number and scribble on a special Valentine's Day message. How about getting a photo taken with that special someone? Instagram a pic and hashtag I love WSW and get it instantly printed at the precinct. Perhaps you and your other half are a pair of football superstars. There'll be a couples crossbar challenge at half time, giving three lucky duos the chance to win some great prizes. And last but certainly not least, the kiss cam will be circling the ground, so be sure to keep your eyes on the big screen. Here's a few examples of some loved up Wanderers couples who may end up in the kiss cam love heart. Looking good guys. Now onto the football and our Wanderers should be full of confidence after last week's showing in Melbourne. It was a stirring fight back and an amazing second half performance and if it weren't for Danny Vukovic's heroics, things might have been a bit different. Luckily, Brendan Santalab was on hand again to be the hero off the bench, sealing a valuable point with one of the strikes of the season. Thankfully, we'll be seeing plenty more of Santa after he put pen to paper on a new two-year deal this week. Here's what he had to say after the signing. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, you know, it's a great reward for, for the last three and a half years um, at the Wanderers and uh, it's been a, been a great, uh, you know, great time here so far and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I, I feel great. Um, my body's good and I'm looking forward to the next two years. Although we're not sure if Santa will start today or not, Three players who definitely won't be taking the field are our Spanish trio, Andreu, Diemus and Alberto. Andreu is still working through the injury he picked up against Victory. Diemus will serve a one-game suspension after receiving his fifth yellow of the season, while Alberto will miss the first of two games after his late-game dismissal. Wellington have their own problems though, after their loss against Perth stretched their winless run to nine games. Though Popovich won't be underestimating Ernie Merrick's boys, especially considering Round 7's meeting at Wonderland, where it took a late Mark Bridge strike to separate the sides. Here's what Popper had to say about today's game. We've just got to keep playing the way we are. We're on top of the table for a reason, because we're playing very good football. Uh, it's a shame that uh, there hasn't been more said about the great performance that we had against the champions in Melbourne. Um, but that's, that's how it is. We've got to move on. and. Um, you know, the players have had a great week's training um, and, and we're looking forward to, you know, we're playing a team that's desperate for points, they've been on a bad run, um, but we've always had a tough game against Wellington, home or away, uh, and you know, and I've got the utmost respect for Ernie Merrick and, and what he's trying to build at Wellington. With just three home games left in the regular season after today, three points will be crucial as the race for the title heats up. So no excuses guys, get that Valentine's Day brunch out of the way or book a late dinner because at 5pm Wonderland is the only place you should be. I mean, what's more romantic than a home win and three points? I'm Sia Anthopoulos and thanks for watching Bay 46.